motion to accept the financials as written. Second. We have a second. Discussion. Um, I just I have one question. Uh, uh, the unemployment insurance, how many people are we paying unemployment on there? Because that number is really, really, we're 775% of budget. <laughs> so, how many people are we paying unemployment to? Are we paying unemployment to anybody? This is just. Well, it's the insurance premium, but it's based on the number of people that file a claim, right? Yeah. So, it just seems, is that a mistake? Or? What word is that? Yeah. Uh, page, uh, sorry. Page three, page one of the revenue is, and it's page three of the packet. It's page one of the revenue of the expenditure. Under general uh, mm -hmm. administration. It just looks so out of, out of, out of whack. Is that, is that number one? Uh, so my question is, is how many people do we pay on the format on so to make that rate go up? Okay. If you don't know, okay. you can just have to I'll have you up for it. I know that our premium is partially based on how many claims we are filed and we paid out. So that was my question. How many claims have we paid this year? How many people are collecting on the We would have to pull. It's okay. You can just tell me later. It just, the number looks so strange. Is it that Well, that's, that's part of the part of the reason I raised But how long does that, does that go for? In the back of my mind, I'm, Rob, is it three years? I mean, <laughs> it's either one year or three years, Eric, so. I'm going to have some information on who was on it and how many years went to it. Right. Yeah, it's just that the numbers come out of whack. And uh, if that's going to continue, we certainly can make a note of that for budget time. We have a, a, a motion to accept the minutes, a second. Uh, we have any dis more discussion? All in favor? Okay. Yes. Citizens concerns. Let it take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Approach. Name and address, please. Hmm? Your name and address, please. It's your address. The address that you reside at. I am Christy Brownell, and I live at 5231 Wise and Maker Road, Valdosta, Georgia. But I'm the president of the Lake Park Chamber, and I just wanted to thank the city and the council for all y'all's help with the rodeo and the parade. Um, especially with the parade, I want to thank Chief and all your guys. It, it, I hope y'all are as pleased with it as we are. The, um, we had to change the, the route a little bit because um, there were too many horses in the, the lot where we were gathering and we were going to have a little mini rodeo. <laughs> so we decided to kind of, you know, let's let them think about something else and we walked down the street. <laughs> um, but Chief just stepped to the plate and made sure we were all safe and it went extremely well. The rodeo was soggy Friday, but Saturday it rocked. There were uh, over 3,000 people. Um, standing room was full. <laughs> there was no more standing room only. Um, we had no problems. It ran like clockwork. It was a great night. And I just want to thank y'all for your support and your help. Well, it was a pleasure having the uh, rodeo parade come through Lake Park. It was uh, uh, a very uh, nice thing to have come through. Our roads are properly fertilized now, so uh, <laughs> that's, that was good. Put it on your flowers. Uh, it was really nice, and, and the people that attended loved it. So uh, hopefully we can do it again next year. Next and year. I wish you, you know, much success with that. Anything we can do as a city, we'd be more than happy to help. 
Well, we are looking forward to working with y'all on the 4th of July. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Appreciate it.